What is going on guys welcome back to another video I hope you're having an amazing day in today's video where could be taking a look at one of the most awaited videos Auction OS 10 based on Android 10 for our K20 Pro so again over here I would be reviewing this the installation video would be coming soon as there are some few of the things that are remaining in order to use this at least as a daily driver well you can't actually expect much of the stability that when compared to the another Redmi or Xiaomi phones but it's actually like much more better than what you would expect GSI to be running off the vendor. So again over here this is the latest base of stable auction OS from the OnePlus 7 so 10.3 and without wasting any further time let's just take a look so again over here I had actually reviewed auction OS based on Pi for a K20 Pro but this is like much more fixed version of it so again over here I may say that you might use this as a delay driver but I just won't recommend as there is almost like no biometric security and the pop-up cam is still not fixed developers are looking hard at it like nephron amog which are one of the best developers for auction os like for example devices like poco phone f1 redmi note 5 pro and some of the another developers which i'm sorry to forget their name but are working on this device so again over here even if you go to the left you have the app vault and everything as you can see all the widgets that you can imagine are actually present right over here and the experience over here on the snapdragon 855 is just mind blowing this phone is extremely fast like there are no hiccups and lags and anything that you can see over here the apps are opening in a blink like there is literally no lag and one of the saddest things is like this rom is actually available for like more than a month now but the wi-fi wasn't working and the wi-fi has been recently just fixed like two days ago which is like one of the best things so again over here i have the wi-fi running that's why everything is working just fine as you can see like the play store and everything i have just updated all of the apps so really it's completely working fine you have 4g and everything just working and then there is another developer working from russia based on the hydrogen os which even has the ot updates yeah well not the auction ot updates ot updates from the developer like the smaller delta updates which he would be doing to just improve the experience of the whole hydrogen os if you want me to review that just subscribe down there and let me know in the comment section below but let's just take a look at the apps of what you get well i have actually added a bunch of them to just like normal workarounds for everything for example web app has been provided by the developer cause the double tap to wake isn't working and there is no in display fingerprint scanner working so in order to wake the device of course you can do that then again you have snapdragon camera and snapdragon gallery which are themed in oneplus icons so again if you just don't install them separately of course you have them if you don't know what snapdragon camera is you can just open the app and for the first boot the wide camera does actually work but after that only the primary camera works like both the primary front and the back the auxiliary cameras are completely dead but still you can expect it to get fixed before the in-display fingerprint scanner but again you have the DSLR like app as you can see you can turn the wheel just like that pretty cool app to be honest again you have the support for the Gcam completely as you can see but then again this is your recent app funnel again a very fluid experience so again coming back going through more apps like the browser has been provided then again you have clock file manager everything from the auction OS then you have the latest oneplus gallery just like that you have game space which has been added on to the android 10 so again a game turbo like feature from the xiaomi which has all the fanatic mode and everything just baked into right over here as you can see pretty much the same thing like the game turbo which boosts everything like the graphics optimization network and everything for you once you get playing then you have the india net sound tiles app for example you don't have a physical slider like the oneplus phones for the vibrate ringer and the do not disturb mode so again you can just quickly add on the toggle and there are quite a lot of them so for example silent as you can see toggles the hardware level silent and the do not disturb then you have vibrate then again it just jumps down to the silent and then the ring so yeah normal workaround for it and does actually work even after reboots then again you have the k20 pro camera control which of course you need it for a pop-up which completely messes up sometimes so set camera in pop-up and take back just like that so again going through more apps you have messages notes again update to the latest one from the oneplus 70 again i've been using the oneplus 70 icons right over here which do actually look pretty great again there's the oled server app for the dc dimming as i'm using to record this video then again you have the phone play store settings just normal stuff so going through more ui you have the quick setting panels right over here which is completely customizable and you do have a lot of toggles now again this has been added by the dev but you pretty much get everything that android has to offer and more for example the wave up toggles and everything and the screen recorder you also have the reading mode like pretty much everything is just working fine so again coming back to the settings 
you have normal stuff working over here such as for example your calls wi-fi sounds vibrates of course in the sounds dolby atmos is completely broken which of course is broken in all of the roms well i guess one of the poco f1 builds have it running so again scrolling down you have apps in full screen night mode i guess night mode is working yep there you go ambient display is currently completely broken but the horizon light does actually work has been fixed by the developer separately so that's pretty good then again your normal stuff like auto rotate screen which again auto rotate screen is bit wonky for the first one or two boot it just works completely fine but then again if you want to rotate the phone just rotate it and unlock it again well now i guess it's just completely broken let me just try into the play store auto rotate on doesn't work let's just lock and unlock the phone no it's just completely broken now <laughs> so yeah there are some of the things which are still broken you have customization which is again now completely fixed so you have some preset themes which are the white black and colorful and going through the wallpapers currently i have installed the oneplus 70 wallpapers which don't actually work great i mean the animation is a bit crooked but still does actually look pretty good so for example this is the purple one there you go looks quite fine then again you have this one which is again one of my favorite ones from the 70 as you can see the animation is just bit weird but does actually look good let's just try a few more like this one as you can see these are meant for the 90 hertz but just work fine on the 62 then again you have accent color which only works if you have a custom color like for example just black there you go whole ui turns dark and this also toggles the dark mode so again all the apps will switch to like the whatsapp instagram and facebook now for example green dark green blue pretty great but i just love the normal colorful one just like that then you have the toggles which are square round rectangle which i didn't know what's a thing but completely works as you can see i don't know why it breaks off the oled server each and every single time that's pretty weird then again you have the icon pack which again i have saved for the oneplus 71 and just your fonts so again scrolling down you have sounds and vibrations uh, buttons and gestures which again for the android 10 these are like one of the best things that auction OS has to offer when compared to the even one ui2 the gestures are just not that great and even on the miui 11 now the china beta has the official android 10 gestures which are like much more better than the previous ones then again you have the navigation gestures on the bottom and again my OLED server has crashed and just your normal stuff like the home back and recents again you can completely hide the ugly pill if you don't want it just like me and then you have the tutorials for it so completely coming back bunch of the stuff is just still broken then you have the apps and notifications which are just upgraded for the android 10 and then security and lock screen you don't have pretty much like no biometric security at all just the patterns work then coming back you have privacy which is added onto the android 10 so you have the google app settings right over here and some advanced permission manager from the android 10 then coming back you have location again in that some of the android 10 features like app permissions which you can set for when in use all the time or never so completely skipping those things like the storage and accounts you also have the digital well-being again the latest one from the pixel 4 so you have the parental controls and the digital well-being completely separated just like that so coming back again google utilities again utility it doesn't have anything that works so for example oneplus laboratory they have actually completely replaced it with the rick and morty one just the app locker parallel apps and the quick reply and landscape works which is again also available into the miui in the portrait mode and then coming back to the about phone section as you can see the image has been changed again these are the oneplus 7 specs you have the developer over here and our version 10 and the security patch is november 1 which is quite old but yeah still would work for the port and yeah guys that's pretty much it for the auction os 10 port for our k20 pro i hope you guys enjoyed if you found this helpful please drop a like if you want more of these things again just comment down below and the installation would be coming soon so stay tuned for that see you guys in the next one peace